Welcome to the Infernos. I'm Execute. Today I'm joined by the Astropub himself, Paul, or Paul the Astropub. What do you prefer? The humble space bartender at the end of Twitch. Uh, I, I can't remember Paul's I, spiel. I, You'll have to I give have me a thousand spiel. different. I have a thousand different different titles. Uh, the best way of going it is is uh, hello, my name is Paul Berserker One Batman Shelley, your humble host and space bartender at the Astropub. Yeah, I, all, I, I, I can't remember it the way you do, but yeah. So as uh, we're recording this, it is, I think it's Halloween. Uh, mm -hmm. Hence the speaky moon in the background for the thumbnail. Um, but what I wanted to do was um, that recently the trailer for the AIE came out. That mixed together with some other things. I thought I'd just go through and tell you all the tidbits we've found, both in the trailer and kind of leading up to... Um, the AIE, and yes, this has got speculation in it, but a lot of it is grounded in logic. And so this has gone through quite a few number heads at the Infrarunners, the military guys, the economic guys, and, and all those different professionals. And I'm presenting it to Paul, because Paul hasn't seen it. And Paul can basically be the uh, face of reason and tell me how crazy I am. This is a live reaction on Paul's side, is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so this, this this could literally go anywhere, but we'll, we'll see where it goes. And... Um, so what I'm going to start out with here, Paul, is we've basically got the uh, trailer here queued up, and I'm going to play it from about 28 seconds, because this is where it kind of gets interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I've muted the sound. So the first thing off the bat is that Cutlass. I will talk about mm -hmm. that real briefly, actually. So we actually think this could potentially be a new variant, uh, because mm -hmm. the way it's got some weird things hanging off it, it's got a skin we've never seen before, and the paint and the layout is different. So we're thinking... We, you know, we don't have a lot on that one, so but we just keep your eyes on it because it looks different. We'll leave it at that. Okay. Um, so yeah, but a few, a lot of people speculating, sabbing over that one. The next one here is obviously this one here. Now this was the is clearly the Argo raft that was uh, hinted at by SC leaks, um, and mm. a lot a lot of the economic guys badges looked at this one actually. Badges looked at this one, but it looks like it it connects to a ship and like see how it's got these load bearing kind of um, almost like sponge like attachment so when it attaches up to it, it like compresses as it goes up against a ship um or something to that nature and we've also had people mm -hmm. talk about how this looks like a clamping system and and one of one someone suggested these are, these are just all the things that have gone through people's heads is that this might be the ship that unloads the whole series of ships and it basically acts like a port tugboat type ship that basically ferries cargo crates from uh stations down to the ground and that's its only job it basically mm. just takes cargo containers up and down. And it makes a lot of sense with all the other Argo stuff that works at ports and stuff like that, um, you know, with the um, the things we've seen. So, yeah, that, that that's a lot of speculation there. But um, we do know it's a cargo ship from Argo. So, yeah, interesting to see what, how, how that one develops. Um, I'll ask you your thoughts on that. I know there's a little bit... There's not there's not, lo not nothing... Very, it's all very vague, I know, but... Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't think it's a, that. I don't know if those are clamps because the thing about about um, clamps is that if it would be a clamp, it would have to be universal. So like, it would have like to that. be a brand new yeah. kind of goes. So I mean, see the bo the bottom part would be at the back, and the the top part kind of mm -hmm. goes over and pulls them back like that, and it holds on to them like that. That's that's how I had it explained to me. But yeah. Oh, so so it's it's like a it's like a cargo rack. Kind of like how the the hull has yes. its own cargo rack. Yeah, yeah. So, so it, this it would, it would clamp onto other other ships. It would clamp onto cargo bed, uh, things and then pull them. Yeah, up. Uh, maybe. Um, so yeah, kind of like it. So this yeah. ship would kind of be an upgraded um, cargo MPV, essentially. Um, yeah, yeah. For that, um, we also do believe it's got two tractor beams um, that make sense because if you're going to tractor beam a box, we know one tractor beam the box will still spin, but two tractor beams it can't spin. So it allows yeah. you to pull in a crate and then this thing kind of locks onto it and holds it and then goes down. So, yeah. Um, and we, we do know that that's a, 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 a turret that has appears to have two tractor beams on it. But, you know, we'll wait and see. There's a lot, a lot of speculation there, but um, we do know it's a cargo ship because we, we've heard that much. So, yeah. All right. Uh, we'll move on to the next one in the trailer. Obviously my favorite redeemer there. Uh, hugs. It. Hugs. Lots hugs. of hugs in game. Yep. I want to see more hug, uh, hug action. Yes. I'm going through. Sorry, this is going so slow. I'm going to skip ahead because it's all in slow mode. Actually, I'm going back. So this is the ballista. 
right? Mm -hmm. But someone pointed out, and this is hard to spot here, so I am going to play it, but it's at the eight second mark, uh, six, seven. Just here as we come in, you'll see what initially looks like a ballista, but there's no turret on the back of it. None whatsoever. Yeah. Um, and if you actually go, okay, I already had this queued up, sorry. Uh, what am I looking at? I've, I've opened the wrong. So if you go here to the, this is the vote, the image from the vote. And you look at this image here at the bottom. That is a ballista with the trailer on the back, but no ballista. Yep. So this, uh, we, we know one of the vehicles from the leaks is uh, the Anvil Spartan. So I believe mm -hmm. this is what the Anvil Spartan is. It is a, a another weapons platform of the um, of the Anvil Ballista. What yeah. do you think about that? Uh, they're they're called. It's not called the. Uh, they've they've retconned it so that the Ballista and the Spartan are now called or part of the Anvil Atlas system. That's it. Yeah, which is something they leaked. They they accidentally leaked with um or the Liberator with the, with the Liberator. Yeah, so. Uh, I, I someone saw that it was an Atlas system, and I said that's the chassis because the Atlas chassis, and uh, mm. I call I I called it like the day after, like that that the week after that when when uh, someone brought right out to me on a <clears throat> on a uh, uh, office hours, I said mm -hmm. that's the that's the new thing for Ballista. That's what the Ballista is. They're, they're I, that ship. I called it, and then finally someone came out. I think a uh, hater was like, "Yeah, you called it, Paul." I'm like, "I, I know would, I called it." <laughs> I, I um. <laughs> We, we thought that as well initially, but I also thought it could be a Titan suit because Atlas was a Titan, but I was wrong in that regard. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so the other thing um, a lot of the military guys have been going through is they went through, like, all the different attachments you could have on the back of a ballista. Um, and one mm -hmm. of the things that I realized, so this is a J-Wiz uh, on the back of a, mm -hmm. a, of a different truck, so something like that. But the thing I wanted to propose to you is, and this is a much further thing down uh, down past AA, and I've lost what I was looking for. There was a video I had here, but I've, uh, here it is. So we actually have these, uh, we know that we have these different um, weapon platforms and stuff like this. And so this is like an anti-missile one that they showed off during CitizenCon. Mm -hmm. So my thought process is, is you notice both on this one and in the video, there's actually, you know, I have to go back a little bit, but there's clamps um, that actually show that they're detachable. There's mm -hmm. little clamps here. So what I'm suspecting yeah. is uh, not just can they go back on the back of trucks like this, but you could have a platform that sits on the ground like this and connect them to the power. And from a developer perspective, that's making two things that has dual function. So what, what would you think of that? They're making um, defense points. I don't know what you call them. So mm -hmm. I'm making up words here. So this is a defense, defense turrets. Defense turrets, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Mm -hmm. Defense turrets that work on, both on the back of a vehicle, but they also, obviously the vehicle has to um, deploy its legs and stuff, like that. we know the ballista's got those deployable stabilizing legs. But once deployed, mm -hmm. it works from the back of a vehicle, but it also works from uh, like a defense base in-game. Do you think that could be a thing where they, they are making yeah. from both? Okay, cool. Yeah, I can um, see it. I mean, it, it, the only thing is, is... Um, I think I think it's probably standard. I don't know about the, sh the the vehicle thing. I could see it once CIG has it working to make it work like that. But, um, but yeah, I could see that in the in the distant future. Yeah, yeah, it is in the distant future. Um, we do know they're focusing a lot on the f first person shooter and theaters of war over the next uh, for two reasons. Um, obviously. Working on Theatres of War and us playing it helps them make the gunplay in Star Citizen as well. So, uh, well, sorry, um, mm -hmm. Squadron 42, so that's dual function. So I think we're getting... They're all good signs of moving up towards release, though, which is uh, really good as well. Um, lastly, um, we know that about the Odyssey as well. So th this is coming at AI as well. Um, mm -hmm. and, and basically, so... At the at the three price points, I should probably talk about that real briefly. So, basically, you'll probably generally at AIE have kind of like a a, a small, medium, heavy, or a cheap, more expensive and expensive. I don't know how you want to call it, but mm -hmm. you have three different ships at three different price points. So I assume small, the small, medium, and large. Yeah. yeah. So I'm assuming the Ballista will be around um, $100. Uh, the Odyssey will be the more expensive one, and I'm uh, 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 the refinery is the other ship that I'm kind of expecting to be the middle price point ship. Um, and I should talk about that briefly as well. So um, the refinery was shown here two years ago. Um, even here, you can see the MISC styling. And this is the 
very blurry image they showed off. But if you kind of look at the the image and stuff, we've, we've gone backwards and forwards. A lot of people think it's one or three or A and C, whatever you want to call it, from this image. Um, mm-hmm. But you can clearly make out the saddlebags here and stuff like that. So it, it's... um. It's def- and they've even said that it's MISC. So I, I do think it will look yeah. like one of these. Uh, what do you think about that? Just I, think it, I think it's probably the C, the, 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 the bottom one on that small refinery. It matches yep. the most up with, the, with that. Mm-hmm. Um, have you, uh, I, I also think that, yeah, it'll probably not... It, it might be discussed about at IAE, but I'd be surprised if it, if it um, comes out at IAE. But we'll see. So- so what I'm what I'm expecting is what they did with the mole. So they had uh, mm-hmm. on the very first day of the show, and if you go look at the schedule, this kind of does line up. Uh, if you look at the schedule, so basically they had um, on the very first day of the show that we'll probably see the Spartan, um, mm-hmm. and then and I don't remember the schedule off the top of my head, but the last ship will be uh, the the Misk ship is towards the end. I think it's like the second, the second or third last day or something like that, and then I reckon like what happened with the mole about a week after the sale ends. Do you yeah. remember when the mole came out? Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah, it was like a week after, um, uh, or it, it was announced the week after to come out in like the the last patch of the year. Yeah, and I think that's where we will see the refinery ship because like we've all spent our money on the AI, and it's like now give us more money, more <laughs> money. It um, worked last year. Yeah, it worked last year. You know. Um, and and by the way, MISC is the last the uh, uh, like mainline manufacturer day. So mm. it's not the last day, but it's like the day before best in show and then the finale. So yeah. And the last thing I want to talk about is actually, believe it or not, C and D um, from this list, and and, and even and I'm not even checking a bonus here. I think that in B there that um, that buggy that. Uh, Cyclone Dober competitor. I think that's clearly Grey Cat, but you know, anyway, I'll leave that as a bonus. I think C and D, we're going to see it Invictus, right? I think C, mm. you tell me if you think different here, but I think C there, they are all Tavaran type of hover bikes. Possibly, yeah. Mm. I, I, they're, they're not, can't be human, it can't be Xi'an. So if it's Tavaran, it would make sense. Yep. Um, and I, I don't I don't think it's going to be the bottom one. I think it's going to be the middle one. Uh, up for the I, I, don't, bike. I don't know which one it is, but I think to me, they all have that Tavaran styling. Right. Yeah, and they're, the lo- they're definitely not. We already have Jian and we already have humans. So Tavaran or Banu would make sense and Tavaran would make sense for Invictus. But yeah. Yeah. And the last one, uh, we've, we've run through this with the military guys as well. And basically, um, it'll either be the second or third one of D, but we believe this might be the, the, so SC leaks reported on this, oh God, this is saying 10th of April this year. They mm. talked about a star bomber, right? Now mm. you can go on and, and carry on about whether it's real or not. But the thing that comes to me to mind, we know they're working on theaters of war, right? And you know, you'd want to have a bombing in that. You're not going to put in an A2, are you? A2 no. is way too big, right? And, and and a lot of people say the Gladiator, and I would think that as well. But the opportunity to sell a new one, and the thing that I that hurt, hurts me when I say this, is it's Crusader. Um, because mm. I, I don't like what they've done in Lord of Crusader, because they, they had a really cool thing, and now they're retconning it, so they also make fighters and stuff. But I digress on that. Um but I think it's probably, yeah, as I said, I think it's going to be um, the second or third one in there. But when you look at this layout that uh, Hayda had here in his video, it it speaks, it looks like it's got forward swept wings and stuff like that. And and the guns, when I look at that, I look at, I think it's very similar to that middle one there. Um, and, and I can see uh, when you look at that silhouette, you can go back and look at other ships and it lines up with the Ares and it lines up with the uh, MSR and stuff like that, like the little holes in the wings yeah. and stuff like that. So what do you think about that? Yeah. Um, I agree. I, I tend to think I tend to agree with that one. Mm. Um, yeah. Invictus, li- likely. Yes, likely Invictus. I wouldn't see it before that, but um, mm. I'd also like to point out that all of these ships are already in production. Yes, like they were in production. 100%. They were in production before they they they, they posted yes. this. So just as a reminder to the audience, uh, your votes don't matter because all of those things were going to be made. We knew that's as of 2019, because mm. they did the same thing in 2019, except now what they're just doing is giving you a little preview on what they're, mm. what they're, uh, what they're working on now. Mm. So totally agree. All right. And the last thing I think I'll ask you, Paul today is if you were going to pick an A, B or C of the Odyssey, which one do you think it would be? Cause they're all kind of weirdly bastardized. Uh, as in for, different, for different, 
Yeah, so they're all they're all mixes of different uh, mist ships. That middle one, by the way, a lot of people think that that's got stylings of the uh, refinery ship in it. Where the bottom one, you can clearly look at that and see it's like a staff bearer. Staffer. The top one's got the cab of the misc on it and stuff like that. So yeah, I think I think it's the bottom one. I think it's going to be the bottom one, okay. just because it's it's we're talking about a big ship, um, like like the size of a Carrick, um, was what oh, they think talked about. Ca- okay. I think they, didn't they me- I think they mentioned it in there that it was going to be. I don't remember, ship but if you did, if, if you heard that, I I, I don't remember. Yeah. So um yeah. I, I hope it's not a, ca- a carrot competitor because I think a lot of people will be a bit upset. Oh, my my favorite ship now has a, a rival, but um, I'd like it to be I an mean, explorer, but a different type of explorer. So it's not think, um, like out in the black the like a carrot is. Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be a, a planetary explorer, like a resource explorer. It's designed yeah. to like go exploring for stuff like that. So like a surveyor, um, and I think to, to find yeah. ores and stuff, and yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like to call it like a, uh, the, you know, those wildcat oil dr- r- rigs where like they take like a cargo ship and they just slap a, uh, a giant drill onto the side and then that deploy the drill when they get close mm. to it. Yeah, something like that. I, I, something, something that's designed more to find resources to exploit than it is to, mm. uh, than to just try to find new and interesting plants. It's like, you know, we're yeah. making money. <laughs> it's an mm. industry exploration ship. Um, <clears throat> Like an icebreaker, you know? Yeah. Hmm. So. All right. Well, this one's been short and sweet. Um, I, I basically would just like to know in the comments, what do you guys think? Do you have any other um, speculations of your own? I know that's a little bit of speculation, but I think a lot of that is grounded in... A, a, in some logical thinking there, especially the three ships for the AIA. So I'm I'm expecting the Spartan, uh, the Odyssey, and the refinery ship uh, yet to be named. Yeah. Uh, they did they did say at CitizenCon, by the way, you should see that soon. Um, and yeah. I would... I, wh- what would you call soon? What would you call soon? Well, it's CIG, so we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> soon could be um, IAE. It soon could be um, the heat death of the universe. That's just yeah. kind of how... <laughs> that works. I, I, I'd kind um, of be inspect to see a refinery ship more likely around AIE than at a military um, mm-hmm. sale. So I, I I'd expect sure. to see it now rather than see it at, at Invictus. Just 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 yeah. based on logic. At least so, at yeah. least in at least in concept, not necessarily yeah. released. Um, I also would like to point out that we're we'll likely see. going to see more variants of the Spartan, the uh, or the Atlas chassis. Yeah. Just because if they turned it into a chassis. What they'll do is they'll find a way to just put more parts on it, and then eventually they'll turn it into a, a swappable thing where you can swap out the the various back backs for various um, stylings. I think eventually. I actually have an episode planned uh, with a, uh, some of the military guys to sit down and go over just what they could do with those. Um, so I did show you a bit of, a little bit of an image there today with the the, the J Wiz, um, but but I, they were going through and just showing me all these different variants, medical, just a whole nine yards. So we'll do an episode on that. It might be another short and sweet one, but uh, just just to give you an idea of what you could possibly expect and get your brain ticking over on where that gameplay on the ground is going and like we did a video of oh, two and a half years ago you know like that whole battlefield call of duty experience that fully detailed out on the ground level that's going to be just as detailed as those ships in the in the, in space uh where, where that could go and i really think they are trying to capture uh that battlefield crowd and the call of duty crowd and bring them into the fold um and so we'll talk about that in that video. But but yeah, that should be coming up shortly. And I, I do like obviously Paul will tell you um November is one one of the most busiest months for InfraRunners specifically. Um because we do all that that sale and and it's just a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> but um yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that definitely our busiest time. So yeah, so, um, so- I'll cut in and say, if you'd like to know more about the IAE, follow us every day at IAE from November 19th through probably not uh, or from December, yeah, November 19th, not until December 1st, because I don't think. We don't do the last be, couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. The, the last three days or so. But every day there's new, 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 new ships or ship stuff. We do mm-hmm. a video. You can come join us. You can come watch us as we break down every ship, the best deals, how to get yep. those deals the 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 ccu game that plays on we have all of the experts who come in and talk to talk to you about that so join mm. us for that adventure if you want to know more about the ships and what ships to buy and what ships may not be a good good as good of a deal and so on and so forth so 
100% agree. And we'll probably even uh, slip in like a buyer's guide there for the, the ship that goes live. And we'll probably t have another episode talking about the other ship that's in concept because that's probably what they'll do. Um, so, yeah, look forward to those as well. All right, then. Um, he's been the Astro Pub. Uh, Paul, where can people find you on your Twitch, which has been going really well lately? Yeah, tw uh, twitch.tv slash the Astro Pub, Thursday and Friday after at 9 p.m. Eastern. And... Um, Saturday and Sunday at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, though except for for today because I'm uh, I'm I it is holiday for my and I'm gonna spend that with my wife. So, <laughs> yep. So he's very much under the pump, and we have to get this episode over with. All right, all right. With that, we're off. Have a good one, and we'll catch you in the next one. See you in the black. <laughs> <laughs>